Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome tonight. Eagles, Eagles basketball first home game of this 1993-94 season. Eagles coming in 2-0. This is Jim Nelson with Frank Winkle. Our statistician tonight will be Rich Drennan. And Frank, what can we look for for the Eagles tonight as they open here at home? Well, Jim, the new Eagles, first of all, we, I expect to see more man-to-man -man defense. They've been playing that in the first two games, which they won. They beat Phoenixville at Phoenixville, and they beat Penwood at Penwood. Um, I expect to see more set-up plays, less of a transition game than Eagles teams in the past. Whether this will pay off or not remains to be seen, because we always depended on our speed before. Eagles a very young team this year, Frank. Uh, starting, it looks like a freshman and a sophomore. Is that going to have any effect on what we can expect from them? I don't know the answer to that, Jim. I think it's a team that will have rough spots at the beginning, but will improve as the season goes on. But from what we saw, we, you and I witnessed the scrimmage, those young fellas look pretty good. All right. Uh, opponents tonight, Downingtown. Uh, one outstanding player, a guy by the name of Hubenek. Um, Tom McGee, a very disciplined coach. What do you think he is going to bring to this program? Well, for one thing, if you noticed around school today and on all days of the games, the whole basketball team was dressed up. Nice pants, ties. He wants gentlemen on his team. He doesn't want a bunch of, I don't know what you would call them, but he wants gentlemen. Another thing he stresses academics. Uh, tells all the boys academics come first. He wants to know at game time they're going to be there. They're not going to be an LG. All right. Things to look for tonight, Frank, from what you've read, what we've seen in that scrimmage. Who can we look for doing the scoring for the Eagles? Well, the scoring's been pretty balanced. Of course, Condi Bates, having played some varsity before, he's a big factor. Um, one thing, I don't know who the outside shooters are. Watching the scrimmage, there wasn't that much shooting from the outside. But I'll tell you, Downingtown has an outside shooter, in the game against Pius, uh, or, excuse me, a game against Pottstown. Uh, their outside shooter made six three-point plays, 18 points from three-point land. Yeah, I think that's Hubenek, who's a pretty yeah. big player, and he also was an outstanding soccer player uh, for them. That's not a bad loss for Downingtown, by the way. Oh, 12 no. points, Pottstown, the defending uh, AAA champions in Pennsylvania, and four returning starters. Yeah, it's, it should be an interesting game tonight. Uh, at this point, I don't know how you could favor Norristown. Well, Tom McGee with his discipline and uh, with a matchup man-to-man -man that we'll see. Uh, we know some in this scrimmage did play that very, very tough. Uh, Frank, in the past, you mentioned about the three-point shooting. We've had problems in that in the last few years. Uh, is this something McGee's worked on with his team, do you know? And the other area that we have commented on in previous years, foul shooting. Well, the foul shooting seems to have improved. Uh, in fact, the game against Penn Wood was won from the foul line. The teams were even in field goals, and it was the foul shooting that won it for the Eagles. As far as a three-point shooter goes, I haven't seen a consistent one yet. But that may develop, though. Okay, certainly he can hope that we find one. Tonight's game again, fans, with Downingtown, the Whippets, a good test for the Eagles. Eagles on Friday night will open at Abington in their first league contest, a very tough league contest. Frank, what do you know about the Suburban one this year? Pretty wide open race? What I have heard, the two teams to beat are Abington and Council Rock. So, as you said, ne the next game after this one will be a big test. Abington at Abington. I think Norristown may sneak up on some people if they're looking past that from what we saw. Yeah, as I said, I expect the first half of the season to have a few rough edges, but a team that's going to improve as the year goes on and a young team, starting some very young players. Okay, I know I'm excited, Frank, to be back this year. Look forward to see how the Eagles do. Uh, we'll be back with tip-off in just a few minutes. We're back.
o'clock, almost ready for tip-off, ladies and gentlemen. In the background, you can hear Dolores Jordan with the starting lineups. Here they are. For Downingtown, the visiting Whippets. Number 35, Chris Bennett, six foot five inches. Number 34, Brad Hubenick, six foot four inches. He is the shooter. Number 14, Brad Phillips, six foot two inches. Number 33, John Stonewall, six foot two inches. And number 25, Mike Dominic, five foot ten inches. Frank, there are a couple of two sports stars there for Downing Down. Dominic is the football quarterback. Hubenick, a soccer player. Any effect, do you think? Were these guys coming off their other sports, or should they have worked back into basketball by now? Well, Jim, in high school, I, I don't, I don't think that makes a big difference. I think they might be in better shape than maybe the other players, but uh, I don't see that as being a, a detriment or an asset at the high school level. Opening up for the Eagles. At the guards, we can expect number six, uh, number 24, six foot one inch ninth grader, Lofton Thomas Thompson. And at the other guard, five foot nine inch 10th grader, Jimmy Lever. And there, Frank, certainly is something to build around in the future. Two very young players will be with you for three years. Yeah, and Jim, I understand they have an outstanding eighth grader assuming he remains in the district. Yeah, rumor is though that he's being recruited by the yes. Catholic schools and the private schools. Also starting for Norristown at the forwards, six foot two inch 11th grader James Lopp and six foot four inch 12th grader Ian Morris. And at center, six foot five and a half inch 12th grader Condi Bates. Norristown cheerleaders singing the national anthem. singing the national anthem. This has become a tradition at Norristown since about six years ago. Nice crowd of Norristown fans here tonight, Frank. Probably one of the best uh, <laughs> yeah, number Jim. of fans that we've seen in a long while. For an unknown team, th these are more fans than we had last year for a team that was expected to compete for the state title. And I'm glad to see it, and I'm glad to see, um, I hope they make a lot of noise. We're going to give Rich when he's not taking stats for us. It's going to be his job to get that group cheering and making noise. There's nothing better than high school basketball when the fans really get into the game. I love the playoffs. I think it's been a great sporting event. Okay, we're ready once again for the Eagles. Morris, 34. Uh, number 45 is Lop. 30, Condi Bates. And Frank, uh, some of them have those... Uh, Short pants that we commented on yeah. before. <laughs> the ankle huggers, I guess we can call them. Okay, Bates Downing jumping down. center with Bennett. Tap up on the move, and there it is. Lop on the break, first two points for the Eagles. Full court pressure right off, Frank. Dominic with the ball, number 25. Levers playing him. Pick up the defense, Frank. Eagles in a man-to-man. Man-to-man. There's Hubenek. Underneath, Stonewall tries for that other pass. 
And Frank, you know, that's something you see this so often. One pass you don't need and you lose the ball. Comes Lever. Jumper from the outside by Thompson, no good. Bates on the rebound, around, no good. Condi Bates a little upset with himself there. Foul on Downing Town is on number 35, Bennett. It's going to be Bates going to the line. Bates will be shooting two for the Eagles. Eagles up 2 nothing in the early going. First shot is no good. That's something we want uh, Rich to keep us in tune with, it, the foul shooting for Norris now. We certainly hope we see improved foul shooting. They seem to be having trouble here with the public address system. Second shot is up, Eagles up, 3-0. Ball in Dominic's hand, he's up to Hubenek. Hubenek on the dribble, jump shot, in and out. Battle for the rebound, Bennett, Downing has got a lot of height, Frank. They certainly Ball do. Ball blocked by Bates. 25 is Dominic. He's on the outside, setting up, lever on him. There's number 14, Phillips. There's Bennett, jump shot, he's got it. Six foot five inch man, nice touch from around the foul line there. Lever for, coming down quickly. Well, almost lost, got an up and down on 45 lop of the Eagles. It's gonna be Dominic inbounding for the Whippets. I have a question for you, Frank. What's a whippet? A whippet? I, I knew you would ask that tonight, so I looked it up in the dictionary. It's a dog, a very fast dog similar to a greyhound. All right, you know that one. Do you know what a Hoya is? <laughs> no Bennett. one knows what a Hoya is. Stonewall on the drive, nice left-hander on the drive against that man-to-man. -man. Downingtown up 4-3. Leave her right back for Norristown. Over to Thompson with the ball out on the right. Looking for Morris. Finds him underneath. Ball knocked away. Retrieved by Thompson. Shot no good. Morris tries to make the shot. Ball bounce around. Out of bounds. It's going to be off of Downingtown. Good scrapping by Ian Morris there to keep the ball in play for Norristown. Flop will trigger the inbounds pass. Looks for Bates. Ball taken away. And here we have Dominic on a fast break. Dominic misses, rebound, no good by Bennett. Bennett on the rebound. Battles underneath, finds Hubenek. We got a three second violation. Whippets give up the ball very quickly, Frank. They're not yeah. wasting any time. Eric Augustine coming off the bench. I, I, like, I like the call, but I think it was the wrong one. I think it was walking rather than three seconds. Augustine replaying more, I suppose that's for rebounding, Frank? I don't know, Jim. I, I, until we see the rest of the team, it's hard to judge. There's a nice move in. No, battle on the rebound by Bates. Ball comes off at Stonewall. All right. There's Phillips in and out. Rebound, Lever. Eagles coming down, three on two. Lever stops at the foul line, jump shot. Oh, He's nice, got it. Nice move. Touch Nothing but me. twine on that one. Here's Dominic. Eagles are up by one. Lever all over Dominic. Ball goes to Hubenek. He's their big scorer. Defensive task on him is Lofton Thompson, ninth grader. Dominic outside. Ball goes in underneath. It's Phillip. He's got it. Nice play by Downingtown. Downingtown looks to be pretty patient, Frank, and well scored well, against that man to man. The advantage is really paying off for him right now. There's the jump shot. Bates on the rebound, under, he's got it. And the Downingtown coaches are screaming for a walk. Eagle 7-6, four minutes and 50 seconds left in the first period. Dominic, a nice move, drives in, ball stolen by Bates. Taken right back by Hubenek, out to Phillips. Phillips over to Dominic, lever on him, out by center court. Man-to-man -man defense by the Eagles, there goes. Phillips doesn't have it into Stonewall. Stonewall with a move over to Bennett. Strong move. We got a foul. It's going to be on Bates, I believe. You know, it's going to be interesting to see, Jim, how tired uh, Downingtown is in the second half. Last year, we depended on the full court press to tire the other team. So far, we're not doing that this year. 
many games we won last year because the other team ran out of steam. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with this Norristown team. The other thing with that, Frank, will be uh, just how much each team goes to its bench. Bennett with two. He's got four now. Down and down up by two. There goes the move. Nice drive, James Lop. In underneath there, first Lop with four. Phillips outside to Humanek, deep to Dominic. Dominic outside, Lever on him, left hand and dribble on the move. Shoots a jumper, it's short. Here comes Lever. Eagles, three on one. Break the Bates. Bates all the way, no good. Got a foul on Bennett. That was a good foul. He was going to make the basket anyway. I think it's Bennett's first. And this forces Bates to make the two from the foul line. Bates is 17 for 13 from the foul line so far this year. Se what, seven what are for they? 13. Did I say 17? <laughs> seven. <laughs> that would be good. That's if pretty you could good do shooting. <laughs> Condi seven Bates ready. Shots up. First one up high. Comes down. It's not going to be any good. And there's a good call. The Fisher waves it off. It hit the struts up above the up above the goal. Bates ready with a second. Eagles are up by one. So far, this game's been very frustrating for Bates. Shot up. He's got it. Condi two for four in the foul line. Eagles by two, coming down to the 350 mark in the first quarter. Ball in the hands of Stonewall against Augustine. Bennett gives him a pick. Here it is to Phillips. Phillips on the bounce pass to Hubenek. Shot up. His first two. Ball out with Lever, over to Thompson, in the corner to Lop. Lop comes back to Thompson, over to Lever. Norristown very patient right now. There it goes. Lop on the move, jump shot up, he's got it. Six points for Jim Lop. Norristown still playing a man to James man Lop with six early points, and there's a foul on Lop. His first, getting too close to Phillips. Downingtown's an interesting league this year, Frank, that truncated Chessmont league. Coatesville, who is very good in Westchester East this time, apparently also has a very good team. And so does Henderson, who we will play on the 23rd. Stonewall with the ball. Bennett and Bates battling underneath. Stonewall on the move all the way. Looks like it could have been a walk. Here come the Eagles again. Lop out in front of Phillips on the drive. He's go. Oh! Whoa. He's all right. Thompson took quite a spill there, but he's okay, looking for his man. And so far, Thompson's done a tough job on Hubenek. I don't want to jinx him. There's Hubenek with a long jumper. No good. Augustine battles. Rebounds in the hands of Dominic. Now Throws August. up a desperation shot and almost went in. Foul against Augustine. It's going to be interesting to see how many uh, three-pointers Downingtown gets tonight. Dominic misses the first. Eagles still by four. Second shot also no good. Rebound controlled by Lever. Lever's on the move. He looks. There's Lop on the rebound. He's got it. And James oh, Lop nice is hot shot. to Norristown. Here goes some full court pressure. Lop playing. Dominic backs off. Lever's going to pick him up. Let him get up to half court. Eagles still using man to man. Hubenick with the ball. Looks underneath. Ball taken away. And Lop lost it, but it did get hit by Stonewall. There's Hubenick. Hubenick on the move. Out to Dominic. Dominic comes over. Almost stolen by Tom. There goes Augustine. He's got Augustine all the way on the move. Drives. No good. Foul, I believe, on Dominic, number 25. And Downing Down wants a timeout. And I'll tell you, Jim, so far, it, it's a very harassing man-to-man -man defense they're playing. Smart timeout by Downing Town, too. Eagles, good pressure on the ball, keeping those hands active, and that's the way you get steals. Twice now, Downing Town trying to move the ball in, and the Eagles, you know, bothered them. Eagles cheerleaders right in front of us, Frank. Norristown 
Norristown Eagle cheerleaders. And Frank, we've commented so uh, often. Back when you and I uh, were high school students in the Neanderthal age, uh, cheerleading was just that, cheerleading. It's certainly progressed a long way since those days. It certainly has. And I'll tell you, Jim, those girls go all year long. And they work very hard. Lots of practicing and some risks. Danielle Baker, uh, one of the head cheerleaders, uh, earlier had her hand in a cast yeah. from the spill. And Jim, they were out here practicing well over an hour before the game started. Eric Augustine on the line for the Eagles. We'll be shooting two. Eagles already up by six. And we noticed, we noticed the Norristown Eagle over there, Frank. Who is in that Eagles costume? I don't know, Jim, but I haven't seen the Eagle for some time. It's, it's nice to see the Eagle around again. Both shots missed. Battle for the rebound controlled by Bennett. And Frank, Eagles foul shooting still appearing to be a problem. Apparently. Ball taken by Augustine. Nice He's by got Augustine. Lever. Easy layup. Three on zero. He misses. Bates misses. Lop comes up and gets him. Boy, Frank, that would have been a tough one to lose. I didn't know. Did Lever intentionally put it up no, for Bates I don't to think score, so. No. Ball taken away shoot? again. Norristown full court pressure. There's the battle. On the break is Hubenek. Lofton Thomas tries to get the ball from him. Lofton Thomas misses it. Eagles come back. Lever with the ball over to Lop. Lop driving the baseline, looking. I think we got a foul here. We have a foul somewhere. It was being forced out of bounds. And they have to call that. It's got to be either a foul or the guy has yeah, to go out and they've the got to get the days when they used to have something called a force out yep. and there was no foul. Comes number 55, six foot eight inch junior Scott Nealman in the lineup for the Eagles. And also off the bench, number 15, five foot nine inch senior David Tuggle. So three non-starters, Frank, in very quickly for the Eagles. Well, the first game the Eagles played, the first two games, they played at least nine players. Yeah, I also game. counted one of those eight people in the scoring column. I like to see that. Ball comes in. It's Lever controlling. Lever and Tuggle, Nealman, Augustine, and Thompson. And there's Tuggle. Ball's partially blocked by Bennett. Hubenek grabs the board up to Dominic. Dominic looks up court for Phillips. Phillips on the drive. Stops. He's got it. Very quickly, the Whippets have closed the margin to within four. 45 seconds left here in the first period. Norristown 18, Downingtown 14. There's Augustine. Augustine launches the three, no good. Nealman on the rebound, but the ball knocked away that time by Stonewall. Here comes Dominic. Dominic on the move, almost loses the ball. Lever covering him. Dominic with the ball, almost. Good try by Lever as he knocks it out of bounds. 26 seconds left. Whippets will inbound under their own basket. Dominic Hanlon over to Stonewall. Stonewall looks back for Dominic. Dominic tries to force himself in, throws up a shot, battle for the rebound, Bennett. Bennett has it over to Stonewall. Stonewall comes outside to Phillips. Phillips go over to Dominic. I think Downingtown will now wait. Well, no they're not. There goes a steal and we've got a foul. Foul on Stonewall, foul of frustration, I think, Frank. Jim, I'm not sure Norristown didn't go into a zone there for a while. I think they might have on the out-of-bounds play. The coach said he would switch defenses often. James Lopp coming in for the Eagles. Thompson sits down. Plenty of time left, seven seconds. Tuggle and Lever. Now, Downingtown's been playing pretty much a zone defense. Yeah, it looks like a one... Now well, another man to, to man. 2-1-2 two, two at one time. And we have a turnover against the Eagles. Downingtown gets the ball back with five seconds left. And for Downingtown, number 13, who I don't have on my roster. There goes Harris. Harris launches a long shot. No good. At the end of the first quarter, Eagles 18, Downingtown 14. Well, I'll tell you, Jim, Downingtown looks like a pretty good team. Pottstown must still have a lot of talent left. Oh, to, to we knew that, Frank. Pottstown could be the class of the district this year. We don't know what Glenn Mills has. Glenn Mills 
<laughs> of course, Pottstown is not in our division, are they? No. Oh, no. They're in the, uh, what is it, the, uh, the Pioneer Conference? Is that what that is now? And they're in the, they generally play in the uh, Division Three. They're in level. the Division Three. Tough Division Three school. Early I'll scoring. Tell you, the top teams in Division Three are pretty, just as good as the top teams in Division Four, usually, even though they're smaller schools. Scoring so far for Downingtown, Bennett, Hubenick, and Phillips all have four. For the Eagles, James Lopp with 12, Condi Bates with four, as Lopp had himself quite a first quarter. Off to a big start. For Downingtown out here, it looks like number 14, Phillips. Number 23 is Aaron Harris. Number 13 is Wayne Anderson. 35, Bennett. <coughs> and number 34, Hubenek. Ball comes in. Anderson will handle the ball and direct the offense. James, Jimmy County Lever man on to him. Man again. Ball goes out of bounds. Eagles have Bates, Lever, Thompson, Lopp, and Morris. Their starting lineup back in for the Eagles. Here they come. Lever with the ball. Lever has an opening going through. Throws it up. He was a little bit blocked there by number 23. We're going to have a foul here against the Eagles. Fouls on Lopp, it's his second, and very quickly, Coach McGee gets David Tuggle into the lineup, replacing Lopp. Eagles falling back this time, Lever letting Anderson come up court. Ball underneath, nice play, and Phillips lost the handle underneath. Tuggle on the move, loses it, that was his own player hit him. Here goes Bennett on the move, looking for Harris, but nothing there, comes back outside to Anderson. Anderson controlling the ball on the dribble. Lever on him. There's Bennett. Drives, shoots up the jumper. He's got it. Six points. Chris Bennett, the center for Downingtown. And Downingtown once again is within two points. Lever goes over to Eric Ian Morris. Ian Morris on the drive around, no good. Bates, big rebound, no good. Battle on the boards. Downingtown comes away with it. <clears throat> and it's Anderson on the move. Anderson, a lefty. He's got the jumper, two points. Very quickly, we've got a tie game in our hands. Eagles missed a few easy shots underneath there. I think they're just rushing the ball too much. They have to be a little more deliberate. Timeout, Downingtown. Coach McGee not liking what he's seen. And we are getting the ball in there, Frank. They are getting the layups. They just have yeah, to Jim, make them. That's what I like, Jim. For a team that's really never played together before and five new players, I'm pleased with what I see. Those little things they're missing, they're going to come sooner or later. It's going to be a few rough edges, but I, I think as the season goes on, we're going to see quite a team here. Eagles cheerleaders once again performing between periods between the timeouts rather than we always enjoy listening to them and watching them in action. Eagles coming back after this timeout. We'll see what McGee has set up. Well, Jim, when you say that set up, we didn't say that much in previous years because it was all transition game. This is a team that does set up. There's Tuggle on the move all the way underneath. Too strong with left hand and he got in there among the trees. Didn't have much of a shot. Anderson back with the left hand dribble. Over to Hubenek, back to Anderson. Phillips outside with him. Ball goes to Hubenek. He knows they're setting a lot of picks underneath, Frank. Pick and roll, pick and roll. There's Hubenek, turn around, no good. Bennett on the rebound, up, he's got it. Chris Bennett, eight points for the Downingtown Center. And Downingtown takes his first lead of the night, 2018. There's Tuggle. Tuggle wants Lever, bounce pass to Lever. Lever on the move, comes back out with a dribble. Lever on the move, looks underneath, nothing there. Lever thought Thompson would be breaking toward the basket, but he wasn't. Here comes Anderson. Anderson on the left-hand dribble, back to Phillips. Phillips will look over, finds Hubenek. Hubenek with a jumper, up, around, no good. Bennett on the tip, he's got it. Six foot five, Chris Bennett. 
one thing about Downingtown, they're not only tall, they're smart. They really get good position underneath. Tuggle finds. There goes. Good move. Yes. Lofton Thompson with a good move and the underhand roll. First two of the night. Off the bench, Augustine, and I think it's Mitchell making his first appearance for the Eagles. Drive Har Aaron Harris with a jumper. 24-20, Downingtown coming down to the five-minute mark here in the first half. Thompson has the ball, looking for Lever, finds Tuggle instead. Tuggle underneath the Bates. Bates with the move. Strong rebound, Morris, he's got it. Ian Morris, his first two. Eagles off the board, and that's what they have to start doing, Frank, hitting those boards. Anderson moving on Lever. Anderson to left-hand dribble. That was Harris trying to find a man underneath. Augustine in. I was wrong. It's not Mitchell. It's Demetrius Robbins off the bench for Norristown. Robbins is a 5-6 inch 12th grader. There goes the jumper. He's got it. 26-22. Anderson off the bench. Nice left hand shot. Here comes Robbins with the ball. Looking for Tuggle, he's got him. Phillips attempted to steal ball, taken away, and we got a foul right away. Foul is on Tuggle. Play was made by Aaron Harris. Anderson with the ball, bringing it up for Downingtown. Downingtown, a very patient team on offense. Hubenek over to Bennett. Bennett looks for the jumper, doesn't have it. Goes back to Hubenek, who launches the three. No good. Rebound is off by Bates. No break. Looks for Tuggle. Looked for the break, but didn't get it. Ball to Augustine. Underneath the Morris. Ball goes out of bounds. Once again for the Eagles, Scott Nealman off the bench. Bates going in for Bates. It's Nealman, Morris, Augustine, Tuggle. Robbins. Looks like a 3-2 press. Downingtown breaks it. Bennett coming in. Turns around. Takes a jumper. No good. Rebound Hubenek. Blocked by Morris. Nice defensive play. Robbins coming back. Oh, launching the three. Dangerous shot because the Eagles didn't have anybody any need. <coughs> I think some of these mistakes we're seeing Norristown make, it's just the fact that these fellows haven't played together that much. As they play together, you're not going to see a lot of those mistakes. First foul on Phillips. I don't have my early season voice yet, Frank. I've got to go to the coke yeah. fairly often. Here we go. Tuggles over to Augustine. Augustine in the corner of Morris. Morris looks for the jumper. Doesn't have it. Comes back to Nealman. Nealman on the move. No good. Battle underneath. Bennett comes away with a rebound. Anderson with a left-hand dribble. Robbins playing him. Anderson looks over, finds Hubenek. Hubenek launches the three. I'm worried he's going to start finding the range, Frank. He's the guy who hit those six threes earlier. Here goes Augustine on the move. Strong move. Yeah, Eric we... Augustine with his first two of the night on a strong drive to the basket. Eagles are down by two. If Huguenier misses a couple more of those threes, he may give up on them. I guess he, he got a lot of confidence in the Pottstown game, but maybe he'll lose it tonight. Here comes Stonewall back in for Hubenek. And Hubenek has been off tonight. But Chris Bennett, their big center, has picked up the pace with 10. Augustine's foul shot up, strong. No good, Eagles still down by two. And I think the Eagles have missed five or six foul shots already tonight. There goes Stonewall. Stonewall finds Phillips. Phillips on the drive. He's got it. Good move by the Whippets. They lead by four, coming down to the 240 mark. Robbins with the ball. Outside, looks for Tuggle. Tuggle looks for Augustine in the corner, nothing there. Back on the move. Tuggle on the drive, finds Morris underneath. <laughs> and that was a lucky play, that worked out well. I thought Downing Down was gonna pick that pass off. There goes Harris. Harrison Anderson outside. Phillips on the move. 
Nealman bothers him, shot, no good. Big rebound, Eagles had two guys, they yeah, lost the ball. Fighting each other. And we got a foul on Morris. Eagles had control of that rebound. Instead, it's gonna be Phillips going to the line to shoot two. Hubenick coming in, gives Bennett a break. Bennett with 10 points, eight rebounds, very strong first half for the Downingtown center. Phillips on the line for two. First shot is up, around, curls in. Downingtown by three. Second shot, no good. Augustine on the board to control the rebound. Tuggle with the dribble. Tuggle on the drive, comes back out, looking for Robbins, doesn't have the pass, gives over to Nealman. Nealman on the dribble. Nealman doesn't look like anybody's playing him. And Nealman gives the ball, ball stolen by Anderson. I don't think anybody was on him, Frank. No, I don't know why Nealman didn't take it to the basket. Hubenick in the cover to Stonewall, nothing there. Comes back outside to Anderson. Anderson with a left-hand dribble over to Hubenek. Hubenek to Stonewall. Nealman guarding him. Spin move. He's up, no good. Battle for the rebound. Stonewall has it. Foul taken away. Tuggle controls, gives to Morris. <coughs> no break. Morris should slow it down. Looks across court, finds Nealman. Jumper, no good. Morris on the rebound, up. No good. Ball kept alive. Morris, no good. I think the foul's going to be on Hubenet. I'll tell you, Morris is really hustling out there. You can't ask much more than what he's giving. B. and Morris going to the line for two. There's one minute and 13 seconds left here in the first half. Eagles are down by three after spurting to an early eight-point lead. Morris has it. Whippets by two. They like to see him make that first one, Frank. He's got it. Eagles trail by one. Here comes Anderson. Anderson on the dribble. Robbins playing him. Over to Harris. Nice play by Tuggle, nice yes. Play. Nice Excellent play. defensive play, David Tuggle. Bothered him, knocked the ball loose and hit it right off the foot. That's good defense, that's what you like to see. It's Robbins with the ball. Coming down, Robbins on the dribble. Over to Augustine, we're under the minute mark. Looks for Morris, can't find him. But Bates battling, I think they're going to have a foul on Bates. But I think it's a bad idea by Augustine. The Whippets have too much height under there, and their big men are pretty quick. I don't think the lob passes are going to work. We're in the one-on-one -on -one situation. Nealman quickly coming off. He's going to replace Bates. It's a second foul on Bates, and McGee took him out because he does not want to run the risk of the third foul. Here comes Lever coming back also, replacing Tuggle. One point lead for the Whippets. It's Aaron Harris going on the line, shooting one and one. If I'm not mistaken, Harris, he looks like a football player. I think he's their excellent running back, one of the excellent running backs they had this year. He looks like a football player. I wonder if Anderson could be the brother of their running back from a few years ago who was one of the stars at Rowan College. Lever on the ball, looks underneath, and there's a place where they had the pick set up, but the man didn't move behind the pick. Well, Jim, that's what I mean. They're the kind of mistakes that I don't think will be made a month from now. After they play four or five games. Now, unfortunately, after a month, we're going to have five or six league games, and our first league game at Abington is a real tough game. Yeah, I, I would rather be playing Abington later than in the season than next week. Stonewall with a ball. Down in town will undoubtedly try to run the clock down. Comes outside to Hubenick. Over to Anderson. Anderson goes to Stonewall. Stonewall on the move, and we're going to have a foul. Looks like it's on Morris. Three seconds left. Anderson goes to go, going, is going to go to the line to shoot two. Jim, does our statistician over there have how many how many different players Coach McGee has used tonight so far? 
Nine, nine, nine different players out there. Nealman going out, Thompson coming back in for Norristown, and has to try to get that last shot off. First shot up, Stonewall has it. Whippets by two here in the early going. He's got them both. Downing down 31, Norristown 28. There goes the pass down, no good. Long shot launched out of bounds. First half ends. Downingtown Whippets 31, the Norristown Eagles 28. And we'll turn it over very quickly to Rich Drennan who will give us some stats. Frank, some final comments from you. What does Tom McGee have to tell the young team well, during halftime? I don't, I don't think he has to tell them anything about how to set up their plays, how to play defense. They missed a lot of easy shots under the basket. They just need to be a little more deliberate. And, and most of the mistakes are the kind of mistakes that just come from a group of guys not having played together that much. All right, thanks, Frank. With this, we'll turn it over to Rich Drennan, our able statistician who has kept us very much alert here to give you the halftime statistics. Rich? Thank you, Mr. Nelson. Hi, I'm Rich Drennan here with the halftime stats. Leading the way for Downingtown in points is number 35, Chris Bennett with 10, number 14, Brad Phillips with 7, number 34, Brad Hubenick, number 33, John Stonewell, and number 13, Wayne Anderson, each with 4, and Aaron Harris, number 23, with 2. Key was number 35, Chris Bennett's 8 rebounds, as well as Wayne Anderson had 1, Brad Hubenick had 2, and Brad Phillips had 1 as well as Aaron Harris. Key for them was number 33, John Stonewall, who has two fouls. That may lead to some problems. As for Norristown, the leading scorer is number 45, James Lopp, who tallied 12 points in the first half. Other scorers were Connie Bates with four, Lofton Thompson with four, Ian Morris with four, Jimmy Lever with two, and Eric Augustine with two. Um, the rebounds were led by Condi Bates with six and Ian Morris with six. Dave Tuggle had three, Jimmy Lever had two, as well as James Lopp, Augustine and Neilman each had one. The foul situation for Norristown has Condi Bates with two, Ian Morris with two, and James Lopp with two. And that is the, all the halftime stats we have for now. Okay. Ready for the second half, teams out on the court. Once again, Eagles trailing by three. Eagles will have the ball with Thompson right in front of us here. It'd be nice to see the Eagles get a quick rush right here at the beginning, Frank. Ball comes in to Lever, Phillips is playing him. Teams back almost with their starting lineup except number 13 Anderson is in for Downingtown. There goes Lop, Lop up with a jumper around, no good. Battle for the board, Hubenek loses it. Lever has it. <clears throat> Ball comes into Morris. Oh, and Morris, there's a there is a big time foul, Frank. John Stonewall. It's going to be interesting to see if the Eagles take more shots from the outside. The underneath is pretty clogged up. They have a height disadvantage. So it's going to be interesting to see if the coach is going to set up more outside shots. Yeah, outside shooting hasn't looked sharp so far. Morris with the first one makes it good. Eagles down by two. Morris ready, second one up. He's got it. Eagles trail by one in the early going of the second half. Eagles with full court man-to-man -man pressure. Phillip comes in, finds Anderson. This is something new, full court. Bow back to Anderson with left hand dribble, controlling. Anderson with Humanek outside goes into Bennett. Bates playing him, comes back to Stonewall, lever on him, out to Anderson, Morris on him. I'm not sure these are the matchups the Eagles, uh, Eagles want here, Frank. There's Anderson with a shot. Six, six for Anderson, Lieber right back. Whippets back to a three-point lead. There's Thompson over to Lever. Lever fakes the shot, goes up with a jumper around, no good. Bates, big rebound, he's got it. 
And that's what you want to see him, that big rebound and then the nice easy shot, Frank. Here comes Lever, Bates is outside cutting him off. Somebody's got to be open. Anderson with the ball, Lever playing him. And there's the matchup they want. There goes Stonewall, on the move, Morris on him, throws it up, over to Bennett, misses the easy shot. Ball goes out of bounds, it'll go to Whippets, but Norristown was lucky on that one, Frank. They certainly were. Bennett had a gimme. Ball comes over, outside, ball thrown away, Lever's going to be on the fast break, the Eagles are 4-1. Oh, and there goes, yes, nice pass, Lever over to Thompson. Thompson with six, Eagles regain the lead by one. Full court pressure, pass goes to Bennett, back to Hubenek on the drive, Morris just misses. Downingtown handled the press pretty easily that time. I'll tell you, Jim, you got to be impressed with Thompson for being a ninth grader. There he goes again, ball off. Bates with the rebound. On the jump, good move, nice Condi move Bates. By Condi Bates. Hanging Eight in points there, for Bates, good rebound. Here comes Anderson, right back. Eagles up 36-35, 5.55 left in the third quarter. Phillips driving to the hole. Misses, rebound Bennett, misses. Stonewall back, battle underneath. Oh, I didn't like that call at all. All right, you know something, Frank? Good move there. Bates almost was close to having that technical call, and he just caught himself at the last minute. If he throws that ball down on the ground floor, there's a technical. Frank looks like the coach is going to take him out to cool off. That was his third foul, Frank. Bates looked strong underneath. Tom McGee doesn't want him to get that fourth foul here early going in the, in the second half. Ball to Phillips. He misses. Battle for the rebound. Bennett controlled. Lost the ball. Thompson going for it, never touched it. Eagles still up by one. Eagles with the ball. It will be Lop on the inbounds pass. Lop over to Lever. Lever bringing the ball up court for the Eagles. Jumper way off. Morris tried to save it, no good. There goes the pass down court. Phillips ahead of the field. And he missed it. Rebound comes off to Lever. Boy, Frank, both teams are missing layups. They certainly are. Ball batted around, lost, regained. There goes the shot, no good. Thompson battling. Foul is going to be, if it's on Stonewall. If it is Stonewall, it's his fourth foul. You know, Jim, it's still, it's early in the season for Downingtown too, although they have more fellows who've played together uh, from last year. Dominic in for Stonewall, and again, that's to protect them with the fouls. Off the bench for the Eagles, senior Demetrius Robbins. Foul shot by Thompson is good. Thompson with seven. Eagles move off to a two-point lead. Ready with a second one, he's got him. Eagles by three. Here goes the pressure again, backing off this time, picking up at half court. It's Dominic being played by Augustine. Over to Bennett, Morris on him. Over to Dominic, launches the shot, no good. There's Bennett with a rebound. Bennett on the dribble to Anderson. Anderson over to Hubenek. Hubenek launches it, he's got it, a That's three pointer. His first one, isn't it? No, he's got nine, but it's his first three. But you certainly don't want him getting hot. 38-38 tie. And there's Thompson with a three. No good. Battle for the rebound. Bennett saves it, but it comes outside to Robbins. Augustine. Augustine underneath. Ball knocked out of bounds. Augustine attempting to find Morris under the basket. Augustine inbound. Ball's hit by Downingtown. Knocked out. Eagles will control this time on the side. This will be Lop. Lop handling. Comes outside to Thompson over to Robbins. Robbins with a dribble, setting up the offense. Norristown pretty patient tonight, Frank. Jim, yeah, it's it's unusual to see a Norristown team like this. Oh, nice pass that time. Really a good play there by Morris. Augustine just couldn't get the handle on it, loses the ball. 
Bennett with a rebound. Robbins knocks the ball out of bounds, and that could have been a foul, but it was not called. Downingtown will inbound. 4.05 left third quarter. 38-38. Very close game still. Anderson with the ball. Robbins pestering him. Ball to Dominic. Augustine on him. Still man-to-man -man for the Eagles. Shot missed. Three Eagles. Lop on the rebound. Looks like he's going all the way on the move. Nice move by Lop. Foul's going to be on Anderson. If he hadn't put that spin on the ball at the last minute, I think that I don't think he could have gotten the ball off any other yeah, way. I guess if he not. shot left-handed, they were on him. <laughs> But what a contrast this is to previous years when, when the whole game was full court press and, and nothing but transition game. Bates coming back in for Augustine and McGee taking a chance there. There goes Lop. Foul shot is good. Lop ready with a second. It's up. He's got it. Frank, you suppose they have a basket in that locker room and they practice their foul shooting at halftime? I don't know. I don't want to jinx them. They certainly look better. Hubenick outside. Ball goes in underneath to Phillips. Phillips comes outside to Anderson. Thompson playing him tough out to Dominic. Anderson, left hand jumper up. Round no good. Morris. I'll tell you, Jim Morris has really played one yes, hustling game. Seven tonight. rebounds for him, Frank. His big job is off the board. He has been very strong off the board. Eagles still looking for those threes. Thompson launched it, didn't hit it, but they'll start falling. Ball comes over to Anderson. Anderson over to Dominic. Morris is on him. Bennett, Bates playing Bennett up at the top of the key. Over to Phillips with a jumper, no good. And there's a foul, oh. foul's gonna be on Hubenick. His second. Eagles will inbound, leading by two. 2.54 left. Here comes Lever coming in for Thompson. And McGee is going to his bench, keeping his players as fresh as they can so that when it comes down to the clutch time in the fourth period, they will be ready. Robbins over to Lever. Lever on the move. Finds Morris. Morris to the basket. He's got it. Strong move. Ian Morris, eight points for Morris. Dominic right back. Eagles by four. Looks for Phillips back outside to Dominic. Morris playing him all over. Dominic on the dribble. Finds Anderson. Anderson to Hubenick. Hubenick launches. No good. Phillips for the rebound. Gets it away from Robbins. Comes back outside to Anderson. Anderson moves. Takes the jumper. He's got it. Wayne Anderson. Eight points for Anderson. Coming down to the 210 mark. Long shot from the outside, no good by Robbins. Hubenick on the rebound. Whip its trail by two with the ball as we go under two minutes. Nice play by Lever, almost got the ball. Here comes two more Eagles. It's Tuggle, number 15, number 31, Brahim Mitchell. Six foot one, 11th grader making his first appearance. Another good sub because Ian Morris looks a little tired there. Yeah, he's really been hustling out there, I'll tell you. He's played a good game. Gets him out to give him a rest. Here comes Anderson on the dribble. Oh. Uh, foul on Lever reaching in. As a reaching in foul, and as you can hear in the background, Eagles fans do not like that call at all. Dominic inbounds to Anderson. We're coming under the 150 mark. Eagles by two. We knew this was going to be a tough game, Frank. They were not going to blow this team out. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, Jim, I'm really pleased with what I see. Because Downingtown's a good team. They have a height advantage. They have good shooters. Hubenek on, ooh. Oh, the ref missed one yeah. there. That's actually not a bad non-call, though. Well, yeah. <laughs> In football, that would have been a face mask. He, there's a play where, wish we had instant replay. You'd have to see this. Lever tries to move the ball underneath. Two downing down guys intercept, should have had the ball. Kick it right back to Bates, who gets a layup and also gets a foul. Eagles up by four. 
Condi Bates is exerting himself here in the third period with six points, ready to go on a foul line. He's now in double figures at 10. Eagles up by four, 125 left. Bates has got it, 11 points for Condi, and a strong third period. Seven points to lead the Eagles. Ball knocked out of bounds as the Eagles pressure really beginning to work. Dominic will leave bounds right in front of us. He's with Anderson in the whip it back court. Lever picking up Anderson. Over to Dominic, outside to Anderson. Anderson launches the jumper. He's got it. You know, this man came off the bench, Frank. He's got 10 points for downing yeah, town. You, he's, he's a very good impressive. shooter. Here comes Lop, strong move underneath. No good. Downing down with the ball. Phillips finds Anderson. Anderson slowing it down. There's 56 seconds left to Bennett. Bennett to Hubenek. He's got it. Three pointer. 12 points for Hubenek. Downing town. We're tied at 45. Oh. He's not going to call that charging. Call on Lever. Uh -huh. And we hear from the Norristown fans again. He went right between them. Both defenders put their arms out in front of him. Oh, they didn't call charging. I guess they called the foul before the shot. Oh, it was on Downingtown. Yeah, he must. I thought he called charging, but apparently the ref said the foul was committed before the shot. Another layup missed there, Frank. How many layups do you think both teams have missed tonight? It's certainly well, quite a few. You, the Eagles have missed a few too many. Downing down with the ball, 34 seconds left. Will they go for the last shot? Dominic over the timeline. Pressure on him over to Hubenek. Mitchell trying to play Hubenek very close. There goes Dominic, almost loses it. Comes back out, Somebody reverse. Didn't pick him up. Goes in. Ball knocked out of bounds by Lop. 17 seconds left. I'm sure Downingtown will try to nurse the clock down to get a final shot. Well, that's it. They want to go for the final shot, and the Eagles don't want them to. Dominic inbounds finds Hubenek. They're not going to wait. He launches a three. No good. Bates, strong rebound, and they're going to get him on the walk. Bates fell down. There was nothing he could do that time. The moment that happened, he had the walk. Downingtown again, this time 12 seconds left. Ball goes outside to Harris. And there it is, Lever. He can get the ball. Nice play. Lever on. Oh. Save, no good. <laughs> Lever tried to get the ball underneath. And these are the kind of mistakes you see early in the season, Frank. Five seconds left. Downingtown to inbound. Ball court. comes they to Anderson. Shot ball goes off. to Dominic. Dominic is going to launch it. It's up, off the board, no good. The end of three periods, the Whippets of Downingtown, the Eagles of Norristown, tied at 45. Just what you would expect, Jim. I, I think we have two evenly matched teams here. Downingtown has a height advantage and maybe a little advantage in outside shooting. I think the Eagles have the advantage a little more on speed. Frank. We've mentioned several times Eagles playing man-to-man -man pressure this year. I don't think the fans, a lot of them who aren't knowledgeable about basketball, realize how difficult that is. You've got to concentrate all the time. Talk about that a little bit. Well, Jim, one of the big problems is many times you get a man gets stuck with somebody who's six or seven inches taller than he is, and it's very difficult to play. And it's going to be interesting to see what Coach McGee does when he runs into some teams that have, like, one outstanding player. Who do you put on him? You know, because the rest of the team will pull out away from the basket and, and leave one-on-one -on -one underneath with some outstanding player, and it's tough to do. Now the other problem you run into, I've noticed Morris and Augustine, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, playing someone four or five inches smaller than them. That quickness can also be a factor here. You really have to be disciplined at hard work to play man-to-man. -man. Down and down in play, here we go. Last eight minutes, tight ball game. It's Anderson with the ball, lever on him. There's Hubenek. Thompson playing him. Bates in, Morris in, Lop in. Eagles back with their starting lineup. 
There goes the steal by Lop. Up on the move. He's got it. Hubenek with a foul. Third foul on Hubenek. That's another one of those dumb fouls. You either grab his arm so he can't shoot, or you let him shoot it. But you don't, if you're going to let him shoot it, you don't foul him. Yeah, at that point, you know, they talk about the good foul. The good foul is also the hard foul. You hate to say it, but you hear about it with the pros. That guy should never get that shot off. Eagles by two. Here comes down there with the balls. Anderson handling with Lever on him. There's Lop. Ball stolen by Bates. Bates going easily. Oh, he, he better not have missed that one. Oh, I'll tell you. Frank, you I'm going to give you... Did you look on Coach McGee's face? Okay, timeout down in town. Frank, it's trivia time. <laughs> What's the... Backward dunk. But he did let up. Who does that remind you of going for that dunk? and blowing the ball 20 feet in the air. Was that uh, Prince Ramsey? You've got it. <laughs> we remember cost that a, well. As I recall, cost us a playoff game or something. Priesto comes a long way. You notice his name played for Rowan, Division Three championship football team, was an outstanding receiver for him this year and led them in receiving touchdowns with eight. So that right? Priest has come a long way. Originally it intended to go to Penn State, but found a home at Rowan. I just read an article about Rowan in the newspaper tonight and about how many college football players who get disenchanted with the big Division I programs end up there, and Priest Ramsey is one of them who has been doing very, very well in their program. Well, that's nice to hear. Is he also playing basketball, or didn't they say? That I don't know. Their basketball team, however, is ranked number one in this Mid-Eastern area, 7-0 and, and you know, and and record, I that's think. That's another advantage of the small colleges. You can play more than one sport. Downingtown's going to inbound right in front of us. Frank, good timeout by Downingtown. Here comes Anderson with the ball. Eagles fall back, applying their man-to-man -man pressure. There's Phillips on the left side of the basket on the dribble. He's going to move all the way over to Dominic. Dominic to Anderson. Anderson with a jumper. No good. Big battle for the board. Bates control. Up I'll to tell Lever. You, Bates really went up on that one. Lever on the move. Finds Morris underneath. Morris Kent. Assist goes to Lever. And a nice play by Jim Lever. Downingtown trailing now by six as we come to the 645 mark down in the ball game. Goes to move to Dominic. Dominic going to the basket. Loses it. Ball on the floor. Here comes Bates. Oh, a nice pass by Bates. Lofton Thompson misses that. Foul is going to be on Bennett. I'll tell you, Condi Bates has such nice finger control for a big man. Third foul. Play the piano. Yeah. I would like to know if, if Tom McGee's heart Skips a little extra with a pass like that. I'll tell I, you, is Thompson cool for a ninth grader or what? It's a good addition. Well, you know, Frank, you talk about jeans, you know who his brother is, right? You certainly do. Jeff, one of the nicest young men, and just, oh. you know, you talk about a quiet basketball player who made himself hurt on the court. Remember doing games and we look at our score sheets and Jeff would have 30 points and we think he's got about 11. I'll tell you, yeah, one of the finest young men to ever come to this school, Jeff Thompson. Dominic out, Stonewall off the bench with four fouls. Downingtown now down by eight, trying to stem the tide as the Eagles have rushed out with eight unanswered points at the beginning of the fourth quarter. Here comes Phillips. Phillips is driving strong to the basket. Bates on the block. The human up with a turnaround. He's got it, but a nice defensive play by Condi Bates. <clears throat> right back up court, it's Lever. Ball almost taken away. Controlled by Thompson. Thompson with a jumper, no good. Battle for the boards. Ball underneath, controlled by Stonewall. Stonewall to Bennett. Bennett down to Phillips. Phillips on the break. He's got it, and right away, 
we find Downing down back to four points. Here's where you want the Eagles to be patient, Frank. Get the good shot now. T smart timeout right okay. back by the Eagles. Coach McGee calling a timeout. Didn't like what he saw as Downing down got quick two transitional baskets. And that's exactly what you use the timeout for. You try to stop any team from developing the momentum. And right now, this is anybody's game, I'll tell you that. Frank, and after the game, we want to see you perform that maneuver. Yeah, I was just looking at that, Jim, and I'll tell you. We're going to have to, at the moment, we don't have a roster for the cheerleaders, but we're going to have to get you some names. Who was that cheerleader, Rich? Do you know? These girls work really hard. Becky Watson doing the flips. All right. I'll tell you, our statistician sure knows all the girls, doesn't he? You better be careful about saying that. He's got a girlfriend, Frank. Oh, he does could, he? He could be in serious trouble. <laughs> He won't let her watch the game, though. All right. Maybe she won't <laughs> see this broadcast. Here comes Lever moving up court. It's Phillips on him. Eagles need a basket now. There goes Lop, misses. Bond, Bates with a big rebound to the I'll basket. He's got it. And Bates has really come on strong in the second half. Nine points. Eagles back to six. 55-49. Coming down to the 5.30 mark. Anderson controlling the ball for the Whippets. Lever playing him. Over to Hubenek. Thompson. Frank, you know, you talked about Thompson, the ninth grader, and how cool he is. He's in double figures. Here comes Anders with a three-pointer. He's also drawing the tough defensive assignment on Hubenek tonight. Yeah, he certainly has. Three-point game, out to Lever. Here are those three-pointers. You see Downingtown's gotten several of them. I don't believe, uh, Rich, I don't think the Eagles have had a three-pointer yet, have no, they tonight? I don't think so tonight, no. Here comes Lever back outside. I don't Lever think they have that outside. many outside shots. Lever on the dribble, stops, finds Bates, ball stolen by Phillips. Coming down, they run, ball underneath, hits the back of the board. Here comes Thompson out. Eagles are going to be three on two, up to Lop. Lop with a jumper, no. Rebound battle, comes away. Thompson around the ball, no good. There's another big time foul. And there's something you like to see, Frank. Guy who hit him, gives him the hand, picks him up, pats him on the rear end. Instead of having a riot, the game continues. Good sportsmanship. Love seeing it. These are two good teams. You know, this has been a fun game to watch, Jim. Augustine in for Morris for the Eagles. But, I mean, we have two teams that both come down, set up plays, run their offenses. It's a much more fun game to watch than the, the fast break teams. Although last year we used the full court press almost all game, I mean, it was great strategy, but I didn't think it was as fun to watch as this type of game. Thompson with two. He's got 12. Bound scoring for the Eagles, Frank, with four scores and double figures. That's something else you like to see. Eagles again by five. Here comes Phillips down. Ball goes underneath the stone wall. He's there. Ball taken away. Battle underneath. I think the ref missed a little walking call. Here, here. comes Lever. Lever stops with a jumper. He's got it. Lever from the top of the circle. Eagles by seven. Lever's fourth point. There's Hubenek. Ball knocked away. He tried that around the back dribble. Not a smart play with two guys on you. You don't have any. There is no back. And there's Thompson. Lever with a pass. Timeout. Downing Town. Tom McGee off the bench. High fiving. John Ponton high fiving. Pats on the rear, Eagles team by nine. And I'll tell you, Jim, you got to be pleased, especially when you see that Lever and Thompson, Lever's only a 10th grader. My students may be happy tomorrow, Frank. I might not be able to talk in class tomorrow. They'll certainly be disappointed. <laughs> Eagles, again, Frank, you know we've said this so often. We saw it with the press last year under Coach Cresswell. Tough defense. If, if something has to go, you'd rather have the shooting go a little bit because the defense is what is always there. And the team that, that's the defense true. That is so win. true. When your shooting's off, your defense is always on. 
Be interested this year, Frank, in getting to see the Lady Eagles sometimes, too. I've had the pleasure of teaching a lot of the young ladies. You have also. And I'd like to see what kind of team we have under new coach Robert Koch. Uh, they had a tough game the other day with Coachville, but an opening game in which they blew out Pottstown. Uh, like to see how they fare this year in the league. But if you, you know, Coachville and Downingtown are the top teams among, among the girls. Yeah, Coachville is the ones this year that are supposed to have all the, all the good players, but you can't ever count, you can never count Downingtown out. Both of them with excellent girl programs, and hopefully Norristown will begin the tradition of establishing that. Are we going to have a full court press here? Yeah, full court press, broken easily, Anderson with the ball, picked up by Lop. Lever underneath there with Stonewall. Ball goes over to Bennett. Bates on him late. Ball goes in. Rebound by Phillip. No. Augustine battle. Finds Lever. Lever's going to look for Bates. Slows down. Stagger dribble on the move. In and out. There's Augustine. Augustine. Left hand. No. Ball controlled by Bennett. We're going to have a foul. And this is the kind of foul you don't like to see. On the board foul. Let's see if we can catch who that's one, on. It's not one and one yet? No. It's on Lever. That's his second. 3.29 left. Eagles by nine. Back in the full court pressure. There goes the bounce pass in. Anderson has it. Lop is on him. Anderson with a dribble. Continues the dribble. Lop playing him still. Anderson goes to Stonewall. Stonewall with a move. Looks for Bennett. Doesn't get him, but Phillip controls. Anderson to Hubenek. Hubenek will launch the three, off the rim, no good. Stonewall with a rebound, over to Bennett. Bennett, yes, and I believe that's his first two of the second half. So after opening strong, the Eagles have closed him down. Seven points, Eagles lead. I think we'll see some patience here by the Eagles. Thompson with the ball, looks for Lever, finds him, Lever on the drive, all the way, try to spin move, couldn't get it. Ball out of bounds, called against the Eagles, and Eagles fans and bench not happy about that call. Inbound pass to Anderson. Big bucket here for Downingtown. They now trail by seven. Eagles want to keep them there. Anderson with a jumper. No. Lever on the break. There's Thompson. Got his man. Thompson on the break. He's got it. Thompson with 16. Ties him with Lop with 16. Lever on the assist. Excellent play. Hubenek, ball stolen away by Lop. And again, excellent defense for the Norristown Eagles. Lop, uh, oh. ball hit by Hubenek, then hit by Thompson. And That's Coach Shane McGee Thompson yelling at go. Jim Lever, saying, you get the ball. He wants the ball in the hands of Lever. He wants Lever handling it. Inbound pass to Anderson. Anderson breaks the press. There's Stonewall. Stonewall on the move, no good. Anderson, Augustine oh, I hope loses that's it. That's a foul there. Yes, it is. Stonewall with his fifth foul. Lop had gotten in front of the field. Looked like he was going for the touchdown. Frank Stonewall got him from the rear. Except that's the wrong sport, isn't it? It certainly is. And it's not one and one yet for Downingtown either, huh? Eh? No, here comes Aaron Harris off the bench for Downingtown. Eagles with the ball, and the Eagles may be in the one and one situation. Actually, Jim, I think I might prefer if they weren't. <laughs> hey, they've been shooting well this half, Frank. And with two minutes to go, yeah, of course, Downingtown could just foul them, force a foul anytime they want anyway. This is the situation, fans. Eagles are up by nine. Two minutes and one seconds left. James Lopp makes the first of two. 17 points for Lopp. Eagles margin out to 10. And this is you do not want to see the Eagles lose a 10 point margin. Lopp has them up by 11. Eagles, Eagles will on keep the pressure, pressure on. Now. Here comes Forces Phillips. Downing down to use up more clock. Augustine playing him. Downing down will have to look for their shots pretty quickly. Eagles playing very good at denying the ball, Frank. Hubenick to Anderson, making Downingtown work for every pass to Bennett. Bennett to Phillips, Phillips launches the three, no good, Lever, big rebound. Looks for Lop, Lop goes over to Bates, oh. what a play. Nice play. What a play. Lever to Lop, 
to Bates. Just an excellent fast break. That's just the way Tom McGree drew that. Bates will go to the line. And you Randy know, Jim, Bates now with 17 points. Condi Bates has a chance to foul shot up and good. Condi Bates, he really has a chance to really do something this year. I mean, he can be the foundation of that team. Down and down, coming down. Harris with the ball. Looks for Hubenek, doesn't have him. Harris on the move over to Phillips. And down and down looks like they're going to want to try to launch some threes now. That's exactly what Hubenek does. Around, Bates up high on the board. That's 13 rebounds for Condi Bates. As in the second half, Condi Bates has really taken over. Time out, Norristown. Now, Frank, can Norristown be patient and hold the ball? Well, I'll tell you, Jim, we've seen teams in the past where you know, the coach tells them to go in and hold the ball, and they go in, and within three seconds, somebody tries a layup. I know that really used to get to Coach Cresswell. I know. Because he gave them the exact directions of what to do, and they just didn't listen to him. And you hate to see that happen. Well, you, know, you know, Jim, what I liked about tonight's game was Morris out there hustling, hustling. When he ran out a little steam, Condi Bates picked it up. Of course, Condi's been doing the job for the whole game. But the guys, when one guy's a little tired, somebody else picks it up. It's really a nice team to watch. Very unselfish team. They play together really well. Nobody out there trying to be a superstar. It's really an enjoyable team. And I hope the fans come out to watch and support this team because it, it's really a, a fun team to watch. Yeah. Let, me, let me reiterate that, Frank. We probably have more fans here tonight than we've seen in the past. But high school basketball, people, is just a really, a really great sport. And when your team is playing, it's just a lot of fun. Come on out, as Frank said, support these Eagles. I think, Frank, you know, Frank, I think this team is going to grow as the year goes on. You don't like to give them the kiss of death. But I think this is a team that by the end of the year could have a lot of potential moving into, into district play. Well, I think they're going to surprise a lot of people. Five guys who, who, for the most part, have never played together before. At last bucket put Bates in 20. There's Hubenek with a three. Eagles by 13, 47 seconds left. The Eagles should have this game safely in hand. Lever to Augustine. Augustine on the dribble will look for Thompson, finds him, Thompson outside. Eagles content just to keep the ball out here. Over to Lop, Lop back to Augustine, over to Thompson. Thompson on the move, almost loses it. Back to Lever. Lever comes back outside, and this is what we like, Frank. Jim, I like that Lever didn't go into the basket. Nope, and there's a foul on Phillips. So, you know, in years past, somebody would have been driving for that basket. They, what nobody sees is that big elastic rubber band that Tom McGee has on the back of his yeah. players. <laughs> but and there's a lot of times when the clock means more than points. And we had players in the past that didn't realize that. Number 42, Mike Starling. And number 55, Scott Nealman off the bench for the Eagles. Nealman played earlier, Starling making his first appearance. Starling is a six foot four inch 11th grader. Frank, something we noticed. The Eagles are going to have five or six players coming back next year who are going to have experience. Three of them as starters. Yeah. This, this is there the young. The I said in the He's this got is a it. Young ball club. Eagles are up by 15 now. 72-57. Here comes Anderson. Anderson on the drive. Foul's going to be on Lever. And Lever's tired. Lever asked to be taken out. That's a smart move too. Well, you know, Jim, it's a, I wish this Abington game coming up was a home game. It's a shame we're playing Abington at Abington. Yeah, Frank, we may be forced to go to this game. Hey, I'm telling you. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the buzzer. Final score, and this is an impressive victory, Frank. Oh, Eagles I of Norristown, 72. Downingtown Whippets, 57. And let me remind all of you that earlier this year, just last week, Downingtown opened with Pottstown defending state champions in AAA 
and Downingtown held Pottstown to just a 12-point victory. You don't like to do any comparisons, but this is a pretty impressive home opening for the Eagles. And one other thing, Frank, that's very impressive about this game, 45-45 tie. Eagles explode in the last quarter after a tie to pull this one out by 15 points. It shows that they are well-conditioned and they're well-trained for the long haul, something we definitely well, Jim, like to see. Well, Jim, the long haul is coming up because the next home game isn't until January or December 30th. The Eagles are going to play away games at Abington, CB West, Westchester Henderson, and then the Triangle Tournament is not here. So the next home game isn't until December 30th. Yeah, and against that's Coatesville. And Coatesville right now is undefeated. A new coach is there, another team to really look for. And we can't overlook Norristown on the 23rd goes over to Westchester Henderson. Westchester Henderson opened its season by defeating the defending District 1 Upper Marion team, District 1 champs from last year. So Norristown has a tough early schedule. But you know, Frank, John Cheney has done it at Temple. You play the tough games, when tournament time comes around, you are ready. You've played the tough games. And you know something else why that's good? Let's be very honest. Some of the teams in our league are not very strong. And we've sat here last year through 40 and 50 point victories. They don't help you at all. I agree with you, Jim. And I'll tell you, I am really pleased with this team. As I said, it's a fun team to watch, an unselfish team. The only thing I'd like to see is a little bit of improvement in the outside shooting. We need somebody who can make those eight, ten foot jump shots. And maybe that'll come as the season goes on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to turn you over in just a moment to Rich Drennan for the final stats. I want to remind you of two things. Next home game is on the 30th of December with Coatesville. Why not make this a Christmas wish? Come out here. Should be a very good game. And then the first Eagles home league game with William.